Hello my beautiful subscribers and welcome back to this channel. This is uh, Discourse with Sleek and this is my first video on this channel. I bet you are going to enjoy this channel because we are going to discuss about a lot of things that is going to benefit you. We are going to discuss about how to make money using your skills on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok and about uh, some other platforms just like Upwork, Fiverr, how to uh, sell your skills online to everyone out there. And also we are going to be bringing in guests on this particular channel you can see everything is set up already we are going to be bringing guests on this particular channel for discussion so the first thing we are going to talk about on this channel today is i received a question that says i was re refused a visa because i was asked who do i know in us and i said no okay let's go into that that was the question i received uh this person was actually denied over us visa because she applied for a visiting visa and during the interview during the interview she was asked who uh who she knows in the united states and she said no obviously you are going to be rejected if you are going to talk about that uh because number one you apply for a visiting visa that means you want to visit someone and now when they ask you that who do you know in us you said no so what is the essence of visiting who are you visiting that means you want to run away. You are obviously telling them that you really want to run away from Nigeria, that you are coming from or any African country. Don't let me say any African country because we have some other African countries that are better than Nigeria. Yes, should be told. But especially, let me just emphasize on Nigeria. You are actually coming from Nigeria and uh, you apply for a visiting visa to the United States and you are asked during the interview that who do you know in the United States? And you said no one even people that knows someone in united states has not been given visa talk less of you that does not know anyone i'm not saying i'm not saying you cannot be given visa it is luck yeah it is luck if you are given visa but logically if you are being asked would you know in u.s and you said no logically you'll be denied of a visa because uh, people that are being given visa with that kind of ideology uh, it is just luck Yes, don't let me say there is luck play uh, a, a bigger role in this visa application because, you know, let them ask you the same question. They might actually deny you and give the other person the same question, the same response, but it is just luck. So now let me say something that even if you know someone in US, let's say you apply for US visa, visa and you know someone and you tell them, okay, this is the person I know. And obviously this person you know is not related to you you just know this person because you can provide the name not because you are related not your father not your mother not your own not your sister not your brother like an immediate family uh you are going to be denied because now this person does will not take full responsibility of you because you don't bear the same surname you don't really really know each other so that means you are running away from nigeria and basically you don't have a business in Nigeria like you are coming back from like you don't have an established business. What about, let me say, 500 million naira or 200 million naira in Nigeria that you can come for or your business is established in Nigeria. They know, those, those consulate officers know that you are actually running away from Nigeria. You are not coming back. And that, that means you are going to the United States to commit crime because... You, you are moving to United States. You don't have up to $10,000 or $20,000 in your account. How do you want to sustain? How do you want to, how do you want to pay the abuse? How do you want to pay the rent? So that means you want to go there to commit crime. That is the main reason why all these things are being refused and denied. You apply for a visiting visa and you don't know anyone in United States. No, when you are going for the, for the, for the interview, you should, you should think about it. Like it is very, very logical that you apply for a visiting visa and when you get to <laughs> when you get to the embassy and they ask you that would you know in the united states and you said no who are you going there to visit so at least you know nobody so far you know nobody in the united states then go back you want to go and greet joe biden in the white house no it's not possible you are going to be denied all you need to do is just uh, make your plan very well get an invite from someone you know a close relative a close relative from United States because you just think that sending an in invite from United States to Nigeria is easy. No, it might be easy for the person sending it because it's just way built to Nigeria. But you using it, do you know how many people has used that particular invite? 
you know, the travel agent that was working for you actually got you an invite and you used that invite to apply for visiting visa. That particular invite has been used by three, four, five, six people. Has been used by Kabiru, has been used by James, has been used by Kodri, has been used by uh, Jonathan, has been used by a lot of people. And now when you get to the interview, they type the name of the, the inviter. You are the invitee. The inviter, they type the name. They have seen that, okay, a lot of invitee has been on that particular name. No. They will even flag your inviter. <laughs> So basically, uh, so to these questions, particularly if you are watching this video, the answer to your question that you sent, it's not even a question. You just reported to me that um, you have been denied because you said no. So uh, talking about that, you are going to be denied. You just need someone that can invite you to the United States, uh, someone who is a close relative. And that is it. And that is it. So, uh uh just make the amendment and uh do the needful and everything is going to work well for you you know us is not as strict like that although everybody knows they are strict but they are not really really as strict like that so just do the needful and reapply after a few months like they say in their uh uh requirements so that is all about that and um let me say goodbye to this video right now because this is actually my first video on this particular channel and i will see you in another video and bye for now